Good day everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are all doing amazing and welcome back to another video of the Australian MotoGP series on my channel. Alright, so if you're someone who wants to know how the paddock looks in the Australian MotoGP, you've landed on the right video. So all I'm going to do in this video is just walk around the paddock stand here at the Australian MotoGP. So later in this video, we'll discuss about what's the right time to visit the paddock. So are the paddock tickets worth it? Can we see the riders? Can we take photos with them? Can we see the bikes? etc etc all these questions will be answered at the end of this video but for now let's just go in the paddock and see how it looks Take 
one on one. Hi folks, so this is the paddock at the Australian MotoGP as you also a lot of people here having some fun so are the paddock tickets really worth it? I would say it is definitely worth it because it gives you a different feeling and a different experience as a motorcycle enthusiast so because I got the tickets for all the three days it let me explore the paddock stand a bit I mean it gave me an opportunity to figure out what's the best timings for you to spot the riders So day one at the MotoGP, it was mostly practice laps and warm-up laps that was happening. So if you've seen my previous camping video, that was day one at MotoGP. The grandstand was empty, nothing much happening on the racetrack. So I spent 80% of the day at the paddock, just walking around and waiting outside these bays if I could see any riders. But unfortunately on day one, my timing was very bad and I could not spot any of the riders. So one thing that I noticed on day one is that when I went to the Moto2 and the Moto3 section of the paddock, I saw that the riders were frequently moving around between their sheds and the pit crew. And I asked some people around there and they told me that that's the shed where usually riders sleep or rest. So it's mostly before the race or after the race, you can spot the riders going in between the shed and the pit crew. So day two I had the complete schedule of the race and I went exactly an hour before the race started and 15-20 minutes after the race is completed and guess what I did spot my favorite riders. So well yeah in my opinion the best timing for you to visit the paddock is maybe an hour early before any race or any you know event or practice lap or warm up lap starts because that's when the riders will go from their shed to the pit crew but most likely at that time they might not give so much importance to the fans because they'll be under pressure but there are 99.9% .9 chances that once the race or any warm up lap or practice lap is completed and when the rider is going from the pit crew to their shed most likely they will come and see all the fans that are waiting at the paddock so that is when i actually met my favorite riders i'll be sharing some photos and videos that i took when i met my favorite riders so the best time to visit the paddock in my opinion is just before an event is going to begin or just after the event has been finished so these two are the best timings when you can visit the paddock and talking about the paddock pass it's up to you whether you want to get a three-day pass or just one day pass but I reckon you get just one day pass that's on the main day when the race is organized so on that day the riders will be under less pressure because they've completed the race and they're very happy to meet all the fans so if you've got any questions or queries, pop that up in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them in the best way I can. You're most welcome to post your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section below. So before we end this video, let me share some of the photos and videos that I took at the MotoGP. It's all going to be in portrait mode because I used my cell phone to capture them because it was easier to access. It's quick and handy. So here we go. So when I started watching MotoGP, my favorite rider was Cassie Stoner. He used to ride for Repsol Honda. There he is. I waited for so long but I could not take any picture because he was too busy. 
So it is because of Kese Stoner I got my first motorcycle that is the CBR250R, the Repsol edition because Kese Stoner had the Repsol bike. Here we go, that's Luca Marini number 10 MotoGP rider. And uh, another thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that in some of my pictures I've camouflaged my face. The only reason being that I want to keep this channel a bit of a secret because it's pretty new and I don't want my family and my friends to know about it. It's due to personal reasons I've covered my face so please don't mind that. Here we go my all time favorite, my role model, my inspiration MM93, the legend. Thank you. So that's my picture with the legend Mark Marcus. This moment of my life was the best moment I would say. This was really really very special to me. I just can't express it through words. Because I had a CBR250R Repsol, after Cassie Stoner it was Mark Marcus on the Repsol Honda bike. So I was a big fan of Mark Marcus but from the last two years he's been going through a lot, having a lot of crashes and a lot of people are mocking him but remember he's won eight world championships come on we cannot forget that eight world championships that he's entertained us for and all these crashes could be because of his mental health and physical health and also with the aerodynamics of the Repsol Honda bike and now that he's joined Ducati hopefully he gets back where he was Hopefully he gets back stronger for the 2024 season on the Ducati. So there we go, another favorite rider of mine, Jack Miller, number 43 MotoGP rider. Such a humble person. He was literally taking selfies and photos with everybody who's standing there. He did not even miss one person who's with his phone, including me. So this was a very special moment that was shown on television where Jack Miller removes his boots and gives it to one of his youngest fans, a small baby. That was so cute to watch and he's such a humble person. There we go, that's the picture of me with Jackie. It's again a very special moment in my life. Alright folks, so that was all about the paddock at the Australian MotoGP. I hope this video helps and you enjoyed this video. Let me know about your thoughts and suggestions in the comment section below. I do have a couple of other videos which I'll be posting soon. So I'll see you all in another video. Until then, stay safe, take care and have a good one. And yes, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.